I spoke to my father and uh, about this. Where, and he said to me, son, I don't mind you joining the police. But I prefer you join the Australian Federal Police for you, because you wouldn't have to attend those domestics and risk being and I thought, well, what's the chances of, of that happening, being shot? Hmm. And the other thing in the back of my mind says, like, our weather in Queensland is beautiful. Here in Canberra, it's horrible. I don't want to come down to Canberra. Look at the weather outside today. It's overcast, it's raining, it's drizzly. So I decided to stay in Queensland and become a Queensland police officer. And that led to uh, some uh, feelings of, of guilt that if I made some different decisions in my life, I wouldn't have put my parents through... Uh, what I put them through. But this is the lesson I would like to share. When we come into uh, the world, we're not alone. My first day at school, we're not alone. When we all graduate from a police academy, we are not alone. On the day I graduated, I was there with my two greatest supporters, mum and dad. Their first uh, effect of the shooting, post-traumatic stress, was on that morning. It was so chaotic that a police vehicle never came around to the car and knocked to their house and knocked on a door. They actually received a phone call about this incident. And so they had to get out of bed in their 60s and drive to the Royal Brisbane Hospital. And they didn't even know what to expect. All they knew was that I'd been shot. So that was the start of it. 